We're Take back it. at this crazy power washing job. Well, what was a crazy power washing job? Dad got that looking sharp. But now we're here for a crazy paint job. Smokey, there is nothing on the TV right now. My freedom is being kind of disturbed here. Smokey, give me that damn remote. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hear what you're saying. No, screw your freedom. No, screw you, Arnold. I'm back to watching Juggernaut again. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get this done. All right, so there's actually a house fire here, and you can see that they had some repairs done, but there's still a lot of damage, some smoke damage. But on top of all that, the paint is just super old. All right, so having said all that, we got to get all this chipping, peeling paint off. So we're going to blast it with the power washer first, then we're going to scrape and sand on it. <laughs> no, don't do that. Kids don't do that. Do that. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to do... Uh, Scraping and sanding, and uh, we got to get all the chipping, loose, peeling paint off. Once we do that, and we have it all done, then we can come in and we can caulk it all up, make sure all the nails are down, everything's ready to be painted. Then we're going to come in with primer, and then from there, we're going to do our base color. Uh, after that, we get to do the trim, and then we're out of here. Come in. Hey! Everything looks different in the store versus outside. So they're kind of in the blue gray kind of spectrum. Do you want more gray than that? Just a little bit. A little bit more gray? Yeah. Alright. Um where's that hardware store at? Home. Well I'll take they want y'all got but even on them books, that'll be fine. You gotta go back. Well, well no, no, be no, fine. Good. Yo, this, this is just you gotta live with this every day. Huh? Yeah, we wanna live with something you're gonna love and enjoy. So I'm thinking um, the wedding cake is a nice bright white. Mm -hmm. It'll look really good on the trim. Okay. And uh, I was leaning towards that darker blue. Okay. Which mm -hmm. kind of looks like if you step back, it kind of looks like blue, blue that'll gray. Work. But if you want more gray, no, that's, that'll work. let's make it happen. That'll work. That'll work. Well, I'm sure you don't want to run down there and pick you a couple. No, that's fine. Because we haven't made up that is fine. Anymore. We haven't done anything yet. That's so fine. all we did was pick up color, color things. So. I want to make sure it's something you love because you're going to see it for the next Every 10 day, years. forever. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you want more gray than blue? Yeah, just a top more. When I, when I go get a, a get another color chip, I'll just stop by. Okay. And I'll make do sure this you like until it. you find the one you love. No, we're going to keep doing that. Oh, man. Nah, no, no, that's not. why you need to go down there with him and pick one out. No, I trust it. I trust it, but he's been doing it a lot longer than I've been. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I would like to say thank you for showing up and participating. If you want to help the channel out, the best way to do it is just by leaving a comment, giving this a thumbs up. If you're watching it on Facebook, if you could tag two or three friends in it or share it to your personal page, that would be wonderful. And if you're watching it on YouTube, feel free to share it to Facebook as well. With all that said, if this job looks remotely similar to you, like you're like, I think I've seen them paint a house before. Well, I've painted some houses, but this one in particular was actually on my father's channel prior to being on mine. So if you want to watch it with the more of the boring style version where it's less talking and more work, it's on there. Although dad has a lot of behind the scenes type stuff on here. This was a really, really cool project. We spent about six or seven days here. Um, just scraping away, peeling back everything that we could, getting it back to base wood again, and uh, making this look sharp. So this house was built in the 1930s, and I don't know that it's been painted since like the 1930s. The 80s? At least the 80s. In <laughs> um, most paint jobs, if you do paint your house, most paint jobs will last about five to ten years. If you get to that ten year mark, you're kind of in the shape of what this house would be. Now the thing about painting a house is it's actually kind of the armor for the house. So you have the wood. If you get any moisture in that wood, you're going to start getting wood rot. You're going to have a uh, UV light actually tearing up not only the paint and degrading the paint, but it'll also degrade the wood and rot it away as well. So there's a big benefit to painting somebody's house. In this case, this is going to save her thousands of dollars. Uh, not only for a paint job, like if I was going to do this when I was in business and I was, um, I want to say for profit when I was charging individuals, 
This paint job would be somewhere in the realm between five and ten thousand dollars. If that sounds crazy to you, continue watching the video. I promise you will see the value and why it costs that much. Came yesterday, they went from rain to sunshine, to rain to sunshine, back to rain, and then sunshine. And the day they back, all sunshine. When you're trying to get it before it gets too hot. But these guys have done a marvelous job. They are doing a marvelous job. So the cool thing on this project is the homeowner was extremely grateful and she showed her appreciation through the whole process. Her and her family members actually got out there and helped us with working on the property. Um, I worked with, directly with her to make sure that we got the correct paint color that was going to make her feel good about looking at her home for uh, years to come. We actually couldn't get the right color because they didn't have the paint at the place where we was getting it at. They didn't have the right stuff. So we had to uh, make a couple of trips. We had to make a few trips, and it, it was all worth it. This was a pretty high budget project, but the outcome is unbelievable. We've got about 50% to scrape off on the front side of the house because they've been doing some work up they there. They helped us. It was awesome. Um, we have the shutters. Yeah, that was pretty cool because the whole family was out there helping. Um, mostly the woman that we're painting the house for. I can tell she's kind of, she takes on the, the main burden of the household. Yeah. She's kind of the worker bee. Um, Definitely. It's pretty cool, you know, but she was... I, pretty, you don't um, have many people when you go do videos do whether kind of work. they they come out of the house and actually work you which they, is, it's fine because sometimes they don't usually do any work no they don't they don't even offer you water so she she offered offered yeah water. i mean it's it's pretty rare sometimes she, i do she offered us water yeah so that's cool big fan of this feeling, but i thought it looked sharp so this is kind of a little house chip put colors under it and you can see what it looks like I was thinking this. It'll stick out like crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no? He got jokes, eh? <laughs> no, but we are going to use the bride and white as your wife. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go a little lighter on the dish. And just lay it with the white brand. That's fine. That's fine. That look good? That's fine. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah. I'm thinking I'll get you with this. You got salt? I know y'all did. Yeah. Y'all did it. Oh my God, y'all yeah, did. Yeah, what? Yeah, that looks good, don't you? Yeah. Y'all did. Yeah. Oh my God. Clean it up. Who's gonna go with the loudest? Don't talk to me with these. Oh my God. I'm surprised we can find them. <laughs> we walked right up to them, there they were. So if, if they all don't match good enough, we might have to come back here. Oh, they're perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my shoe. Well, I didn't know that. I had no idea that was going to be the size of this. Oh my God. 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 <laughs> oh. oh my god thank you all so much <laughs> all right now right here what i'm actually doing is i'm showing the family members how we're going to go through the prepping process how we're caulking everything up because i wanted to caulk everything that's wood to wood contact now a lot of people think that's overboard but personally uh if you're going to do a paint job do it good do it right make sure you're you're doing um the best job you possibly can so you only have to paint it once and then when you go to re-up the paint you don't have nearly as much prep work and everything's gonna look good uh the little boy right there with the wagon that was uh holding the hose halfway through this job getting ready to spray us his name's <clears throat> gabe big shout out to him his birthday was just the other day and uh the homeowner her name is patricia big shout out to her as well she's actually been extremely kind to um the family 
the whole family and you know recently you'll see in this video my wife was pregnant she's no longer pregnant our son actually just turned one but Lauren she actually gave us a baby shower gift with some diapers and different things so I think that's really cool and she's always coming up and hugging us and and being very um, loving, loving every like time family. we see her guys this is day three Spencer shows up Imagine what's up that? Spencer's <laughs> from SB <laughs> mowing all the way from Kansas Kevin from Lawn Care Juggernaut, and of course, you know, Cabin on the Hill, that guy, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> today, um, we got the rest of the prep work, all the caulking. Um, I think I caulk. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got the rest of the caulking. We got uh, some spots we got to use, some big gap filler. We got to do a little bit of Bondo work, and Dad's going to be doing some uh, woodwork. So not a whole lot. Dad's got four boards to cut <laughs> and he brought out the works to cut make four cuts you never know what you're gonna run into spencer and i are gonna go uh start knocking out some caulking he can only well, you got like an hour or so an hour probably yeah. he's got about an hour here he's gonna ruin his shirt while he's here probably his pants <laughs> and you're gonna notice that in his power washing videos so if you notice he's got some caulking on his pants in his power washing videos you here. know where he was at. You know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to it. When Dad and I were at the hardware store, he saw these um, rails here for the porch. I never would have expected that to be one of the things that brought the homeowner to tears, but it did. And I thought that was pretty cool. Her reaction to the paint is she's excited, but also it, I'm sure it feels very overwhelming because you know, you got to pick the color and what if it's not the color I love? And, but the rails, just when she saw that, she broke down in tears and I thought that was so cool. So dad's doing all the woodwork repair, you know, putting the extra trim pieces on and stuff like that. And while he's doing that stuff, Spencer and I are on the other side of the property. We're knocking out a lot of the caulking and then off camera around the house, the family members kind of tend to stray off camera, but they were all doing work as well. So, you know, they were doing prepping on the porch with caulking and stuff like that. I ripped my pants out right there. <laughs> <laughs> they had to call mom to get him a new pair of pants. Oh. Were you uh, going commando? Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, no, I don't no. know. Because <laughs> I know Rachel, we are her business. She's quite the helper. So I was like, hey, baby, <laughs> I know you don't want to <laughs> with your pregnant belly. I know you don't want Actually, to. Actually, whenever we were out here a little bit ago, I had sweat on my belly button. <laughs> like, I was like, are you for real? I do too. Yeah, yeah, do you? I said, I know you don't want to. Can you come help me out? <laughs> yes, of course. All right. <laughs> my wife and I have been doing exterior paint jobs for several years now. Um, so if, if you didn't know, I had a lawn business for a long time and then I also simultaneously ran a painting business and it got to the point where I had guys out working for me, which was pretty cool, but I was still on a lot of the jobs. And then if I needed extra help, my wife being the savior that she is, was always there to help out. So, you know, she's wonderful. She's amazing. She's, she's always supported me, but she's not afraid to get in there and get her hands dirty either, which is really cool. Cause I talked to, you know, some of my friends and they're like, dude, I would never have my wife at a job site. And I'm like, what? Um, <laughs> but you know I, I understand you know they came from the concept that they wouldn't want their wife out there having to do hard work or be on a lawn and that sweating they're afraid their wife's yeah. going to outdo them yeah it's a possibility Rachel's a hard worker but the cool thing is when I was on a job and she was there she always shines out she's got an, an amazing personality so um, it always built great rapport with the customer which is um, that's always a good factor so you yeah. know like the, the more that you work with different people like if you're doing a job and you're you're working your goal shouldn't be to get paid and make a profit although you know that's really really important your first goal should be get a good review get another job out of that job and um, obviously you got to make a profit so that you continue going but um, building good rapport and having good relationships is a key critical part in that and just having a good relationship with your clients I do want to add in there there's a very very fine balance in that because if you, if you get too close with the client, when it comes to getting paid, they might try to pull the friend card. First and foremost, you're in business, so keep that in mind. For a second. 
All right, we're getting ready to shoot this uh, with some primer. We got to paint the whole house with primer before we can even uh, get ready to do our colors. So there's going to be some spots where it's actually rough, where we need to actually, uh, we're going to spray it on heavy and then use a roller to back roll it or back brush it in certain areas. And that way it's got good uh, adhesion. Cool. I like it. We need a brush. All right, one of the cool things is when you're doing these paint jobs, you start getting the transition. This is where it starts getting real satisfying is applying the paint. Now we're just putting on a primer right now, so we're not actually gonna paint the house white, but anywhere there's bare wood, we wanna paint it. And since there was so much on this project that had bare wood, well, we ended up painting all that. And then dad's coming in, he's back brushing certain areas where it's real rough, just to make sure we have good penetration and that there's really good adhesion. I was going to say penetration on the wood, but some of you guys <laughs> don't know how you are. You gotta, you gotta chill out I'm in sorry. the comments with the I'm way sorry. I talk. <laughs> uh, the other thing I want to mention is, you know, the cool thing about putting this on Dad's channel and you know having it there is that I can see some of the comments and some of the stuff that's going to come out. There are a lot of comments about race and, you know, like positive and negative. Dude, this country's just gone to hell with a lot of that stuff and um, I don't see color I, I just don't think that's any of that's important so you know like when we pick a job typically we knock on the random random door this was a random and job. yeah whoever answers the door is who's gonna get the project and there, I think that's the way a video before this one where I was doing the power washing and she was asking me to power wash the house and I was like are you sure yeah well which goes to my main point was that when we meet people it's completely at random we're not pre-qualifying people we're not trying to justify one way or another if they're of everything's mm -hmm. random on the video you never yeah, know what you're not, gonna get it's an adventure it's not are they worthy of the help it's this is where the lord called us to be this yeah. is the person that's going to get our help she actually said she prayed for this remember when i came to your house and we talked about it yeah and you're like what do you want to do dad and i'm like yeah, Dad showed me this project after he power washed it the first time, and I'm like, well, we don't want to leave it bare wood like that because it's going to rot out on her. I said, do you think she'll be able to have somebody come paint it? And he said, well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, the thing is, painting a house like this, like I previously mentioned in the video, this could be five to $10,000 depending on who you have painted. I think in paint alone, we are close to $2,000. I mean, it's a lot I think, of surface area. I think cover. he spent about six grand on this, Kevin, with the flowers at the end and everything else. Yeah, I mean, we we put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, financial resources, but a lot of time and everything too. Let alone the paint hours. We work from yeah. dusk to dawn every day. Yeah, and so if they were even if they were able to come up with the paint and do it themselves, you have to sacrifice the time that would be spent with your family, and, you know, from work or whatever well, it might be. Missing, so because they came to see us a lot. No. If they were missing us. No, 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 no. What I mean is if they were to do it themselves. Oh, yeah. She would have to sacrifice either time with family, time from work. I mean, you know, obviously if you don't have the money to pay somebody and you want to have something nice, then you got to learn how to either do it yourself, which is, you know, how I learned how to paint is well, I went I have to do something to produce income for my family. I need to fill a spot. And so the lawn care business and the painting business came out of the necessity to be able to take care of my family. You can learn how to paint from watching YouTube videos. This was my first exterior paint job, period. I'd never used a power spray or anything like that. And it's not very difficult, right? No, it was easy. I, I think it was rather enjoyable, yeah. actually. I, I really enjoyed the process. But the equipment can be kind of expensive. I think um, we should have been wearing masks. Yeah, you, you definitely should. There, there's a big argument on that online about pretty much everything I do that I should be wearing a mask. And uh, they're all correct. <laughs> they're, they're all correct. Um, anyways, I suppose if you're wanting to start a, a painting business yourself, I'll throw this out there. If you do want to start a painting business yourself, it's not very difficult. There are really, really good resources around starting a painting business. If you're learning how to paint, a good channel is Idaho Painter. I'm not sure. I think he's Paint Life TV now. And if you're wanting to learn about the business aspect of it and how to run a good business, a channel is uh, Eric Barstow. I don't know if he's changed his channel either. It might be Painting Business Pro now. 
And um, I actually bought his course years ago when I was starting my business. Great course. It was like $1,000 at the time. And it was money well spent. It was um, out of all the courses I've ever bought for business, it was one of the better ones. So the thing is, when I come on here and I talk about business and I try to give tips, I try to give value from the point of view that, hey, I have spent thousands, and I mean tens of thousands of dollars on my education. Like, I have not gone to college, but I have a real world experience of learning business and, you know, it's like a doctorate at this point of, you know, school of hard knocks when it comes to learning how to do some of this stuff. So, um, in which, you know, I just went to a business conference that was, um, you know, a thousand dollars just to go to the conference. I bought two tickets up front. Dad was going to go with me. Yeah. But I, I did take another, um, local business owner, a good friend of mine. His name is Luke. And when I was starting my lawn business out, he was starting his lawn business out. Just a few years ago, he was one guy in a truck. And this has nothing to do with me. That's just him and his success. He's a freak of nature. And without advertising and just networking, he has built a multi-million dollar lawn care business and uh, really good friends. So, you know, I get people asking me all the time in private messages how to build a business and... You know, what should I do? And the first thing they go to is generally equipment. I need this equipment or that. Or they have multiple businesses they want to do at one time. That's great. Um, I'm glad you're excited. What I want you to do is try to focus on one of those things. The other thing is start educating yourself. Get mentors. If you can't, if you don't know somebody that's successful, get around people that are successful. If there's nobody in your life that's successful, start reading books. Start diligently reading books. If you can't read books because you're working with your hands out in the field or at a job or whatever, put headphones in and listen to Audible and start listening to good, positive self-help books as well as um, books around business or whatever skill set you're trying to learn. There's going to be great information. Also, every... Right now. <laughs> the other thing I do want to say is that um, a lot of times we're distracted by a lot of different things, social media, and through my videos I try to add enough value that hopefully it's benefiting you in your life and not just some um, waste of time. I don't want to waste people's time. If you do want to have your time wasted and you just want to relax, I completely understand. And I want to redirect you to my other channel, The Boring Channel. It's the same thing as this, but no commentary. Uh, but if you do want to gain something, I do try to add value. Um, don't worry about us painting over that light there, by the way. That's no big deal. We're, we're going to replace that. And it was broken, so we knew we were going to replace it. But anyways, um, one of the first things you can do to actually moving yourself and progressing towards success is reclaiming your time. And the best way to do that is to figure out where you're wasting time. You know, there's a study... I, I believe it's by Forbes, don't quote me, but I believe it's by Forbes that people are spending 11 and a half hours a day on screen time. That's more time than if they were to work full time at a job. So 11 and a half hour, hours a day on screen time and start looking at that. Is it, video, is it video games? Is it TikTok? Is it YouTube? Is it Instagram Reels? Where is your time being consumed and how can you reclaim it? For me, when I went through the self-help development stage and I'm like, I have to reclaim my time. The fat that I cut out was TV, because I really liked movies. I had a huge movie collection. I love it. You guys see the, the, um, it, you, you guys see it with the video clips that I post in sometimes. No, like I, I really, you know, like that's intros. Yeah, and it's kind of how I think with these little tiny video clips that stuck in my brain over the years. But movies had to go. I literally took the TV down in my house, and my wife's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "It's going." Uh, no, I I like watching TV. Too bad. <laughs> and uh, so for a while the TV was gone game systems were gone um, I only listened to motivational type stuff I only listened to stuff that was furthering me forward and um, it was if you set your your body in motion to have success and commit to having success and commit to making the changes it's inevitable that you will find and you will have oh, success right. in your life but you have to understand that it doesn't come quick. You know, it. it's one of those things that you have to take the version of yourself, who you were previous to where you are now in life, and you have to slowly kill it, that weak part of it yourself. You have to kill that person off, okay? Oh boy, I hope I didn't get flagged by YouTube just now. You have to 
the identity that you, you had to, of yourself. You had to fade that out, bring your new self in. Yeah, you had to understand that there was a weak part of yourself that was dedicated to different things, whether that might have been TikTok videos or whatever it is that's consuming your time and who you are, and go, okay, I want to make a change, I want to make a shift, I want to have success, I'm committed to it. Here's the first thing to start. Now, once you start claiming your time back, you can start getting your schedule together. And the way it was explained to me is that when you do your schedule, you one, you should start with your morning routine because you're going to have a win right out the gate. So what's your morning routine? Well, get up, brush your teeth, um, take a shower, have coffee, try to get up before the sun. If you beat the sun up, then you already have a win for the day. It's pretty cool that way. But then also... What I would highly suggest is once you have your morning routine locked in, start figuring out the schedule because if you don't figure out your schedule for yourself, somebody else will figure it out for you and they will tell you where your time should be. So basically the way your schedule works down is to rocks and sand. And what I mean by that is your rocks would be your movable objects, your appointments with people, the things that you have to do that cannot move time. If you do move that, it will be a hassle for you and somebody else and then you show them that you don't respect the time and then the sand is everything else in between your to-do list that drops between the cracks <laughs> Alright, so I gave Serenity the option Scooter or hoverboard She said hoverboard Rachel's going to take her up there and let her pick out which one she wants Thank you for my baby Birthday present, sweetheart, okay? Kevin okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with you <laughs> I just love you so much I'm going to adopt you as my child You know I'm going to adopt you as my soul Thank you so much Y'all just don't know how y'all have made my heart is Overload. And that's what this family has. Love. Thank y'all. And we're going to continue to support them and what they do. Because let me tell you something. I just don't know if I can ever repay them. In kindness or, or, or in words or whatever for the things that they have done for me and my family. God bless them take care of them and their families. And God, we just pray long life and good health to this family and these two gentlemen. Thank y'all for following us and continue to follow them on their YouTube channel. God bless you and we love you. Baby. Sweet. 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 Sweet.
Here, let me help you something. <laughs> Don't let me wash my face first. Come on over. Oh my god. These, these need some soil in them. Robert, I need a purple one. Purple, this purple one? No, I need a purple, the other purple, the dark purple. So nobody, nobody has ever done anything like this before for me. And I just don't know. I'll kill you. I just like myself. Are you okay? Be careful, Becca. I've never told me this kind of love before. Oh, oh, come on now. I bet mom and dad did. There's one person that's going to see this. That's right. Got another one? I'm not sure that I like things like that. Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. Um, that, that one. They love people. They love sharing. They love giving back. <laughs> my heart is just so full right now, y'all. I, I just don't know what to say. Y'all, please, whatever y'all do, please, 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 please. Please, y'all go to their page and encourage and like their page because let me tell you something. These, this family right here is God sent. They are God sent. They have really went above and beyond all my expectations. All of them. Cabin on the hill and Joe. Joe, what is it? Long hair juggernaut. Long, and long the hair. hair. Long hair juggernaut. Long hair juggernaut. <laughs> long hair juggernaut. The boring channel. The boring channel. Cabin on the hill. And cabin on the hill. Step on up. I got you. You're good. Come on. I got to stop, otherwise I would keep going. I will continue to find stuff, that's how I am. It won't stop. So at a certain point, no matter what time I'm on, I have to say, now is the time to call it quits. So uh, yeah, let's, let's just get on with wrapping this up. Yeah. Remember how I told you I'd find something else? Well, I did. Can't leave it like that, I mean, they weren't painted. Front's painted, these aren't All right, guys, it was super awesome to be involved in this project. This is 100% not possible without your support. So if you could, just give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long ways to allowing us to continue doing this type of work. And I know I say that in every video, 
but I have to tell you this is one of the coolest projects I've ever worked on and definitely one of the highest budget projects I've ever worked on but I would love to do a lot more and with your guys' support I definitely can so if you would share it to a friend that'd be a great help as well all that said let's hear what the homeowner has to say <laughs> I just love how this turned out you enjoy your gift how 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 have I enjoyed it this has been a blessing from day one I'm telling you this family is the best they're the epic they're a godsend if I had a 10,000 tongues I couldn't thank them enough for what they've done. They are truly a blessing. Please continue to watch them. Please continue to support them because the love they have for the things they do and the people they do it for, they just draw you in like family. I'm talking about from the time they start until the time they finish. I mean, it's nothing but love. I love this family and I pray God blessing over them and they God continue to bless them and they stay as one. And they continue to do what they do. I love y'all. God bless you. And thank you so much. Forever in my heart and my prayers. Thank you. Thank Patricia, you. thank you so much for letting us work on the What do you think, baby? What do you think about it? I love it. <laughs> I love it. She's nine and four. She's, she's blessed. She's nine and four. She's been through a lot. And this was my dream to you know, so that anything ever happened to my mom, that she would have a beautiful home and a place to call home a beautiful home and she they did just that they it have it blessed is my beautiful heart. very good <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they are truly a blessing because that i thought it was just gonna be the power washing and the painting and and from the painting the power washing it went to the flowers <laughs> it went to fixing my porch it went to fixing everything that was wrong on the outside to just from bringing it from from the gutter to the utmost what i can say because it it, it it come from a very long way and it took a lot of prayers a lot of people and a lot of angels that god sent my way because we, if it cost if money was the option i never could have got it done but god sent angels he sent angels and this is a blessed family and i love them Forever and always in my heart, in my prayers, in my thoughts. I love y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna go home now. I think I'm gonna go home now. I love y'all. We love you guys.